undocumented workers, illegal work, illegal, it's more, you know, the illegal guys. They don't want to give them Medicaid. And, and if they have any kind of a uh, program to bring them in, they don't want them to have Medicaid then either. As, uh, you know, as we know, if you have the rights to work, but, you know, not a path to citizenship, they don't want them to have Medicaid, most of them. And do you hear what Trump said about the... Well, that's the first, that's the first thing that they check out usually when they come here, you know, uh, social services, you yeah. know. Yeah. The only two words they know is Medicaid. That's one word. To them it's two words. They don't speak English. Medicaid. Well, and uh, this week, uh, Thursday, we have... Uh, Another round of Democratic debates. Um, I think it's going to be in Madison, Wisconsin. I don't know why, unless that's where the next uh, Democratic primary is going to be. I know the next Republican primary is in South Carolina. Don't they? Uh, don't they go together? I don't know. I always used to think that, you know, yeah. but uh, maybe, maybe not, you know. I thought they always uh, but traveled. I know but I know, but I know that the debate is going to be in Madison, Wisconsin, you know, and then mm. next Saturday is another Republican debate, and that's going to be in South Carolina and when is the uh, primary in South Carolina? Um, toward the end of uh, February mm-hmm. you know another uh, few weeks. And in March 1st, there are a couple of big uh, primaries, I believe. Well, when is this? What's Super, when is Super Tuesday? Uh, they keep talking about it, but I don't know if it's March 1st or uh, I know later on in the spring there's a Super Tuesday when you got a whole bunch of southern states have their uh, primaries on the same day. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, uh, oh, do you hear what Trump said about, uh, free, you know, uh, about giving anybody aid if they needed, if they were, you know, if they had insurance or not? I don't even What do you mean insurance? What kind of insurance? Medical. He's, he said, listen, if there's a guy lying in the middle of the street... You give him, you give him any medical aid he needs. After all, because this is America, you can't just leave him there and let him die. Oh yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, I mean that it, that's the same thing as walking into a hospital without insurance. By law, the hospital cannot turn you away. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So what this? I don't know. We'll see. And they're still arguing if uh, Trump is really a conservative or not. Uh, at this point, I don't think it makes much difference. He has uh, he has a, a base that he appeals to, and they keep showing up at his rallies, and they keep voting for him, you know, supporting him. So it doesn't make a difference. You yeah, know? I mean, it really uh, doesn't. And they say he draws uh, a lot of independents and even Democrats, the Reagan Democrats he's drawing in. Yeah, I heard that too. You know, well, in a state like New Hampshire, where you have independents can vote for one or the other, Democrat or Republican, you know, that might help him. I'm sure, you know, as far as crossover delegates are concerned. Uh, Yeah, well, I think anybody can cross over anyway. And I think it's like 40... No, not in a primary. In a primary, if you're a registered Democrat, you only vote in a Democratic primary. Well, like in an election, in a general well, election, oh, yeah, you vote definitely. for whoever you want. Yeah. No, because uh, in the um, caucuses, people walked over to the crossed over to, uh, to the other side. They were allowed to. They're just saying, "I want to vote." There was a paper they filled out. I want to vote Democrat, and they crossed because, right over. Because up to up to a certain point. You were allowed to be an undeclared uh, person, 
But once, let's say, they blew a whistle or whatever, you had to stay in a corner, and that was who you were going to caucus no, with. No, no, what I'm saying, but if, you're a, if you were a registered Democrat you had, and you wanted to switch, you had to fill something out that you wanted to vote or, you know, Republican, and then they allowed you to switch over, or vice versa. But I don't know if, they'll, well, if that's Well, yeah, allowed. in a caucus you could do that. You yeah, I don't, I don't know if anybody you could do it anywhere else, but I think they say what forty one, forty nine percent of people in New Hampshire are uh, independent, or fifty one percent, something like that. That's so, what I just said to you. I just told yeah. you that. You said, I know. Yeah, and so. uh, the next Democratic uh, caucus really is in is in Nevada, and that's a caucus just like uh, Iowa. Yeah. Caucus, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, there's one place where Trump is going to have a lot of influence. Well, I said Bernie Sanders may uh, do fairly well there, too, because, uh, you know, the um, hospitality industry, you know, uh, the people who work in the hotels and everything, you know... uh, he may appeal to them more than Hillary. Yeah. You know. Hey, listen, Hillary may find herself in a lot of trouble with these uh, emails. You know. You mm-hmm. know, uh, it, it's sort of been leaked out that uh, they're moving forward with the possibility of bringing charges against her. So who knows? Yeah, you're finally moving to my side, huh? Not me. I'm saying that's what, uh, you know, they're talking about doing. I haven't heard that. Um, well, look, I told you, I'm a Bernie guy. Yeah, I know. And the only way I'll vote for Hillary is once Bernie has no chance at all, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well. I, still, what... I, I, can't, I can't see myself voting for any Republican, even John Kasich, because he's sort of like a, a moderate conservative, you know. Uh, because uh, I don't trust any Republicans, you know. I mean, uh, no matter what they say, their best they don't have my best interest at heart, okay? Well, they so, all say uh, they have the interests of the middle class. They don't. They do. That's what they say. That's what they all If you listen, if, I'm not saying they do or they don't, but every one of them says, says, will say middle class is the most important people out there. Yeah, it's their own version of the middle class, whatever they want to call it, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, everybody wants to do for the middle class. I doubt very highly if they will, you know. The only one who really has a a definite plan to lift up the middle class is Bernie, okay. Uh, Whether or not he can get it done in Congress, I don't know. What's, but I mean, at least he at least he has a plan. What's his plan? You know? I don't even know. Well, his plan is to tax the, uh, you know, taxes are going to go up, okay. But as he explained it to one person from, I think it was New Hampshire. Yeah, it was New Hampshire just this week. Uh, guys, an office worker making forty one thousand dollars a year, supporting his family. And he said, why should I vote for you if you're going to raise my taxes? And Bernie said to him, well, you know, you're paying about $4,500 a year in medical insurance, you know, about uh, $4,200, about uh, $420 a month, okay? Multiply that by 12, it's about 4500 He said, if I was to raise your taxes $1,000, but you wouldn't have to pay for medical insurance anymore because that's what the government would pick up. He said, you're ahead $3,500 right away. You know, I agree and with that him. Makes, and that makes sense. I agree with him, but I don't see why where anybody's paying $420 for insurance. That's way too cheap. Unless he's talking about catastrophe insurance. A family well, plan... Is about fifteen hundred dollars a month now. Well, and then figure it out, and that comes out to be uh, like uh, fifteen thousand, eighteen thousand dollars a year. So for sure, if you can save that, 
and your taxes only go up a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars. Look at how much ahead you are. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't see that happening though. Well, you never know. I mean, look, it's never been tried before. You know, I mean, uh, people talk about it, but uh, nothing ever gets done. You know, the only the, uh, the only other thing is, um, you know, like uh, Kasich is talking. Some of them are talking about a flat tax. You know, let's say mm -hmm. a ten percent flat tax. So if you're earning seventy five thousand dollars a year, you pay seventy five hundred dollars in taxes. Mm -hmm. Everybody pay, pays the same ten percent of whatever their gross is. Right. Well, they're all. A lot of them are saying flat tax. Cruz is saying it. Uh, I think Rubio saying it, or variations of a flat tax. I mean, Cruz says get rid of the IRS completely. Flat tax, no IRS. Yeah, well, so who's going to collect taxes? Leave it up to the states? I don't know. Hmm. And then suppose there are federal projects that have to be done. Okay, where do you get the money from? If you get a flat tax? You know, if there's no IRS, then there's no treasury. Okay, so where do you get the money from to do... Uh, Why is there no treasury? In, in, in infrastructure. Why is there no treasury? Know? Wait a second. Why is there no treasury? Well, the IRS falls under the treasury. So that you give rid of the IRS, you don't have to give rid of the treasury. Yeah, I don't know. The... Uh, if you can get 10% taxes from everybody without uh, any loopholes, you'll probably get more taxes in the long run. Because now you're talking uh, about... Lee, uh, by the way, Lisa just texted me. She said if we're on, she can't get us at all. So I don't know. Um, I wonder if we're, we're even broadcasting. We're broadcasting. Uh, let me answer her. Tell her if she wants, she can call in, but we are definitely broadcasting. Yeah, tell her to call on the 516 number. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely broadcasting. I can, I can see the signals coming across. Well, I just told her, so we'll see. Um, the ping, everything's good. Um, and if you go on, when you look at Spreaker, it gives you all the connections and how they're doing. Okay. And if everything's strong. Okay, good. Um, you know, and on Saturday, we should know whether anybody is going to drop out on the Republican side. You know, I have a feeling Chris Christie is in it for as long as he can be in it because he likes to hear himself talk. And as long as Marco Rubio is going to be in it, you know, he's going to be in it. He's not going to drop out before Rubio, you know. And from all indications, Rubio is going to stay in until the end, okay? So that means Cruz will stay in until the end and Christie will stay in until the end. So the only other two would be Ben Carson, the uh, three, Ben Carson, Jeb Bush, and John Kasich. And Kasich says it depends upon the next two primaries whether he stays in or goes home. You know, no. uh, Ben Carson, I don't see him registering at all. I, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he drops out. Okay. Jeb Bush has to make a strong showing in yeah. New Hampshire because, you know, it's close to Maine and that's where his parents live. And, uh, you know, if he can't make a strong showing here, I don't know what's going to be with him. <clears throat> you there, Lisa? Uh, Lisa? Here I am. Hey, hey, how are you? Okay. Oh, I'm all right. Tired, but okay. Okay. Nothing wrong with being tired. <laughs> after a good week, after this weekend, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Who's so what that? do you think about the uh, the primaries and the debates, Elisa? 
Did um, you watch any of it? I did not. Um, unfortunately, I didn't go.